Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're looking at Kylo Ren from the 6 inch black series, deluxe, exclusive, whatever. So you got the Luke on Arc 2. And here in Australia, I think, I'm not sure where else, uh, the Ray on Crate is a Toys R Us exclusive. And uh, if you haven't got it, go out to your Toys R Us and get it now, because Toys R Us are all closing down now, unfortunately, here in Australia um, as well. So following suit in the US, which is sad. But nevertheless, um, yeah, grab this one from Amazon. This is a great set. This is one of my favorites. The Kylo Ren has become my favorite Kylo Ren figure that I own. Um, now it comes with a base. Uh, like the Ray comes with like a crate base and Luke comes with a little Arc, Arc 2 set piece. This one comes with Snoke's throne room. I've currently got it set up. So if I quickly, before we get into the figure, I'll show you how I've got it set up. Now I've got my not regular series Kylo Ren and Ray with Snoke and his throne. You can see the base there. It's a sort of battle going between them and the Praetorian Guards. Snoke is somehow still alive and watching. So that's my little setup. All right, so let's look at the box before we get into the figure and accessories. I'll just move him out of the way. So really cool artwork of Kylo there on the front. Um, I'm a big Kylo Ren fan. I dig this a lot. There's a little right up there. I'll read it. After a stinging defeat by the scavenger ray, Kylo Ren re refocuses his efforts on destroying the resistance. Though his powers in the dark side have increased, Kylo still has much to prove to his shadowy mentor, Supreme Leader Snoke. So a couple of other images on the front. As well as the different cape, which I'll get into shortly. <laughs> um, so we open. Awesome. This would be an awesome display piece to keep in box. Um, to have a figure and accessories inside would be a cool, cool display piece. But alas, I am an opener. So we've got here four points. Premium character detail, environmental base, die cast accessories and fabric costuming. Now, if you have a close look at this, now this went out with the solicited images when he was announced. And the cape has a little bit more going on than what we get, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Um, it's an even better picture on the back, I think. Yeah, so you can sort of see a stitching line going out the edge of the cape, which, guessing by the way, it's sort of flared out. You could have had... Um, some wiring in it, I'm not sure. But if you look at Kylo Ren's cape in the film and on the existing figure, which was the plastic molded cape, it looks like it's very patchy. Um, so he's made, it looks like it's been made out of different materials or not necessarily different materials, but different patches of uh, fabric. So he's got all these different seam lines through it. Um, you can sort of see couple of extra seam lines down the side there and it looks to be just a thicker denser fabric as well you can sort of see it sitting around his neck in that image but we get a pretty uh we get a pretty standard just black fabric here um which is nice i will, I will say that while it hasn't got all the extra details, it hasn't got the wiring or the seam in the edge of the cape. I think they've given us something that is pretty good. Um, it comes loose on the figure. I've actually hot glued it around his, uh, I've actually hot glued it around his collar there. So, you know, hot glue, if I ever want to peel it off, I can just peel it off and pick the hot, pick of the hot glue. But um, I wanted a caped Kylo Ren figure. Um, so I didn't like the plastic cape and uh, it falls nicely. Um, it does have a couple of uh, seams that sort of drop over the arms and from, from the uh, shoulder there. So it does hold that sort of nice shape that sort of drapes over the front of him a little bit. And it's, uh, it's not fraying. Um, I've been stuffing around with this figure for a couple of weeks now and showing no signs of fraying, which is great. Um, so despite the fact we didn't get what we got, I think we got something reasonably good. Um, unfortunately, it did take the work of you having to hot glue it to the figure to make it look 
look like it should because um, it just didn't hold all that well. The same issue had occurred with the Luke as well and I'll uh, go into that when I review him eventually. But uh, it is freezing in my room today so I'm not going to do too many more today. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm really digging this Kylo. Accessory wise he comes with his uh, lit lightsaber. Jesus, which is nice. It's a much better effect than the first one we got. Um, it seems like they've got that and down, down packed now, so that's good. And then little diecast accessories. He comes with his helmet, which uh, is head swappable, so you could swap this over. Although with the uh, skin coloured neck, it doesn't quite doesn't quite work, but. It's okay. I would like to get another Kylo Ren at some stage and have a helmeted version. And that way I can just paint his neck black. So you can sort of hear it as it drops. It's, uh, it's die cast. Same with this hilt. Which is uh, nicely done as well. So it's cool. So for the most part, the figure is the same as the regular release Kylo Ren, um, just with a, I'm not sure if it's a new head sculpt or whether it's just painted a bit nicer. His skin's a bit paler, um, which is more accurate to me. And the bright red scar, which I was actually going to try and remove, but uh, I kind of like it. It was a little, gives the figure a little bit more attitude. If it just focuses. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, as you can see, his skin tone's a bit paler. And yeah, the scar. So I, I kind of like the subtleness of the scar on the other figure, but I guess that's what sets it out, because you don't really see it like that in the movie, so. But it's okay. But yeah, I do like this figure a lot. It looks almost like a with his cape and you know he's got his sword and his lightsaber. It almost looks like a fallen knight or something, a dark knight. I don't know, I kinda of, I kinda of like that idea. But yeah, it's the same it's the same figure as the uh as the regular release. Yeah, you certainly just throw that cape around a bit. It looks pretty good. But I've got a little bit of a Kylo Ren shelf going on at the moment, or I've got, or I've got the Mafex Kylo Ren from, from Force Awaken masked. Then I've got the Black Series unmasked Kylo Ren in the middle, and then I've got this guy. So it's almost like a bit of a little evolution I've got going on at the moment, which is cool. So yeah, definitely interested to see see what's going on with Kylo Ren come episode 9 in 18 months or something. It's a long way away. But I um, kind, of, kind of appreciate the break between films now, I think. Time to just let what we've had soak in. <clears throat> and my camera just doesn't want to focus today, which is a bit of, bit of a pain. But... Nevertheless, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've done it a little bit of justice. So thank you for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you.